Hi guys, I'm still making movie news vlogs. Well, I was making my last one. I was thinking I shouldn't make any more because they're pointless. Well, I recently decided I shouldn't quit. I might as well make the odd one because I love movies. Let's talk about Mega Man. Fox wants to make a Mega Man movie, presumably live action. This was first announced two years ago. I wasn't aware of it until last year, you know, randomly scrolling through movie news. I'm sure some people are excited for this. I'm honestly excited. Being faithful shouldn't be hard. Mega Man is a cartoonish blue robot who blows up other robots. It's that simple. Mega Man is slowly happening. It has a directing duel. Henry Juice and Ariel Shulman. They directed Catfish, some documentary. I haven't heard of it. I'm not a documentary guy. They made a few feature films. Paranormal Activity 3 and 4. I skipped that series. I'm not a horror guy. Their latest movie, Nerve, came out last year. A low-budget thriller with Dave Franco and Emma Roberts. I guess it bombed. I guess it's been quickly forgotten. I may see it eventually. Oddly enough, the producer, Eddie Shankar, wants it R-rated. That's weird, man. Nobody's seen that coming. That's like Hollywood making an R-rated Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, imagine New Line Cinema making a low-budget, gritty, R-rated Mario Brothers reboot. Imagine seeing the New Line Cinema logo and hearing the familiar Mario Brothers theme music, like in the real movie we got over 20 years ago. I've seen parts of it, I couldn't get into it. Yeah, I've seen it on cable, but whatever. Imagine, let's say, Zac Efron playing Mario and, I don't know, Dave Franco playing Luigi. Imagine them burning Goombas alive. Horrifying, isn't it? No, 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 I should quickly explain 80. He makes greedy movies. He made The Grey and Dread, which both came out in 2012. He made a few fan films like Power Rangers, which came out in February 2015. I'm sure lots of people wanted the Lionsgate movie to be like that, but it was too much to ask for. Yeah, it was darker, but still family friendly. I liked it, but whatever. Why does 80 want Mega Man to be R-rated? He loves Mega Man and he wants to bring him to life in an interesting way. If he were to adapt old properties, he wants them to be different, you know, mix them up. If he wanted Mega Man to be PG-13, that implies greed and laziness. I honestly rather see Mega Man X over Mega Man. Mega Man X is more appropriate for the R rating because that series is darker. Mavericks are killing people and X and Zero kill them and they have to kill Sigma over and over again. Mega Man X5 was my first Mega Man game. I was 11-12. I rented Mega Man X6 a few times. It was really hard. I couldn't complete it. I remember the cutscenes had Japanese voice acting. I thought about making this vlog last night. I reconsidered. It felt pointless. I was thinking, if and when the directors find their Mega Man, I may talk about it. It'll be big news for some people. I reconsidered because I have no life. Having said that, Mega Man being R-rated sounds cool. It's weird, it's a huge risk, but chances are it'll be PG-13. I'm sure the directors will find their Mega Man this year, should they cast an unknown or someone famous. Chances are it's the latter, it doesn't matter to me. That all being said, let me know how you feel about a Mega Man movie. Do you want it to happen? Should they just cancel it? This ends now. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. Shares are appreciated. My Twitter link is down below. I just want to remind you of my Sir Ty Jensen channel. It's my primary channel. You may want to go there. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then.